Kentucky-based Fortune High Tech Marketing is turning up everywhere. On the World Wide Web and on YouTube. An estimated 200,000 representatives have been recruited at weekly meetings in all 50 states and several countries. Here in Louisville, the meetings are held at the Fern Valley Inn and at Furlongs. You're going to get paid $100,000 a year for doing exactly what you do today. The pitches promise fast cash with help from a higher power. The Lord wanted you to be here today. Like, I don't know, like can't survive for your family, can't pay your bills, can't whatever, and all of a sudden the Lord opens the door. The company says you can make money by representing products your family already uses, like GE, Dish Network, Travelocity, and Home Depot. They don't even train you on how to sell the product. Joseph Isaacs of Tampa joined Fortune last year. It's a people mill. They just run them through. Your promotions are not based on product volume. They're not even based on product sales. They're based on the number of people that you bring in and recruit into the business. Recruitment is a recurring theme. And when you get your first three people signed up here as a business owner, you will have made $300. And then we will teach them the exact same thing and do everything in our power to help them repeat the process. But if you've got 90 people in the room and five of them are guests, something's wrong. It means that you didn't put someone in the car with you and bring them. Joseph Isaacs brought plenty of people to meetings, helping him quickly rise to the level of regional manager. 98% of my income came from recruiting others into the business. I made $16 in residuals in six months. Residuals being money from the sale of products, the commissions as low as one-half percent. If I switch over somebody else's cell phone, I make a nickel a month. So I make 60 cents a year. But payments for recruiting new members range from $100 for those at the lowest level to $480 for a national sales manager, who former reps say can each make $20,000 on a good night. He's there for one reason and one reason only. When you get in the business, that guy makes 400 bucks. He doesn't care if you're successful or you're not. He knows it's a numbers game. This woman sold her business to join Fortune. And I can't tell you how stupid I feel that I fell for this. Once I started doing the numbers, I realized something's terribly wrong here. She says Fortune overcharges for many products. So I called Allstate and asked them how much this package of roadside assistance would be, and it was $52 a year. Ours was 191 According to Fortune marketing materials, each Fortune representative is required to buy or sell multiple Fortune products and services in order to accumulate points, which allow them to get paid. That's in addition to a $299 joining fee, a $250 optional training fee, and a $199 annual renewal fee. Fortune High Tech Marketing, headquartered in Lexington, was formed by Paul Orberson and Tom Mills. Just this year, three magazines, two of them cover to cover, plus there's been a book written about Paul, his life, our company, and his journey. Some estimate that Fortune High Tech Marketing may have up to $500 million in annual revenues, yet the whole operation is based in a small suite in this building that it shares with eight other businesses. Fortune doesn't own the building, according to Fayette County tax records. If they told you that, the, the smoke and mirrors would all be gone. They have to have this big facade. We recently went to the corporate headquarters to try to learn more. Okay, now for confidentiality reasons, we wouldn't be able to allow a camera in here. Eventually, we were invited back to speak with co-founder Tom Mills. Their crew also recorded our interview. People, um, you know, they're, they're having some tough economic times. And, uh, you know, there is the possibility, if, if they're willing to work hard, that they can come with our company and, and make some money. We asked Mills about cease and desist orders filed earlier this year in North Dakota and Montana. The Montana State Auditor alleged that Fortune conducted, quote, a pyramid promotional scheme. Included in the complaint are letters from many of the alleged partner companies saying that they have no direct sales agreements with Fortune High Tech Marketing. I have a great deal of respect for the people from both North Dakota and Montana. They, 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 the authorities handle it appropriately in my mind, and I think we come to an agreement and we're, we're moving forward and we're still doing business in our states. If you continue doing business in those states, Fortune will have to pay about a million dollars in fines and change many of its business practices according to consent agreements. We can't control, even though we try, everything that's said throughout the country. Joe Isaac says he doesn't expect the company to really make changes. And it's an endless recruiting scheme because it never stops. If you stop recruiting, you don't have any income. You're basically done.
By most accounts, Fortune High Tech Marketing is thriving. Its members and recruits fill up hotel meeting rooms, churches, and even auditoriums nationwide, thanks largely to get-rich pitches and relentless pressure to recruit. Don't leave this business for your children's sake, for your wife's your, and your husband's. Let's get you in the system right now. Let's get a game plan, get your contactors together, let's get your business paid off. How soon can we have five to ten people in your house? They announced it at the meetings. They talked about how much they've grown. So it, right now I believe it stands about 200000 But there's also a growing disillusionment among many Fortune members. It's not right, and there's a lot of people in a recession that are getting burned. There's a lot of people that are getting hurt. Joseph Isaac says most of the money he earned came from recruiting dozens of new members, not from selling product. I filed a complaint with the Better Business Bureau in Kentucky. Two weeks later, I got a letter from Fortune, you're terminated. We don't want you as a rep anymore. Go away, please. They are not alone in their complaints. North Dakota and Montana both filed cease and desist orders against the company. In Montana, the state auditor describes the company as a pyramid promotional scheme in which most members they contacted earned little or no money. Fortune had to pay about a million dollars as part of a consent agreement reached last month. Fortune CEO Tom Mill says those incidents were caused by a few people who didn't understand the business. We can't control, even though we try, everything that's said throughout the country. Mills didn't tell us much about his company. I don't really know the number of active reps in the, in the country, in, in Canada, and in the United Kingdom. But when pressed, Mills named his top-selling product. Or Dish is one of their top two or three sellers. This letter from Dish's legal department says the company is not a partner of Dish, but a third-party contractor, which anyone can become. It appears to me... Like they're saying that they're a GE authorized dealer. GE, Travelocity, and Home Depot have written similar letters denying any direct relationship with Fortune. Some representatives.